good morning to all and today we'll do the numericals based upon forced convection right and this is the first numerical which says that a 2 meter into 3 meter flat plate is suspended in a room and is subjected to air flow parallel to its surface along its 3 meter long side the free stream temperature and the velocity of the air are 20 degree centigrade and 7 meter per second the total drag acting on a plate is measured to be 0.86 newtons determine the average heat convection heat transfer coefficient of a plate right now the numerical says that you have a plate right which is three meter by two meter right and the flow is along the three meter side of the plate now to solve this we have to take certain assumptions that are it is a steady state condition problem means we have to consider it as a steady state the edge effects are negligible and we are considering the atmospheric pressure one right so you have to go to the table of properties of air at 20 degree centigrade and one atmosphere right so whatever book you have you can check the properties right and the properties are given in every book uh, in the appendix so you can check the properties of the air at 20 degree centigrade in one atom so the properties are the density at that point is 1.0 1.204 kg per meter cube the value of cp is 1.007 kJ per kg kelvin the value of prandtl number comes to be 0.7309 right now the fd is given to you that is 0.86 newtons so the fd is cf area rho by 2 right and here the area is two times w into l 
right two times w into l so the cf will be fd into 2 divided by as rho right so fd is 0.86 newtons into 2 divided by 1.204 kg per meter cube the area is 2 times 3 into 2 and the velocity given is 7 meter per second scale to make it a uh, dimensionless so it is 1 kg meter per second square by 1 newton right so it comes to be 0 0.00243 right you can check it and calculate it right I have calculated it so it comes to be this now you have to calculate here the value of H which has to be calculated right so there are many correlations which can be used to find this value but I'll use Colburn's analogy which is a modified Reynolds analogy which is modified Reynolds analogy right which says that the center number into predal number the power 2 by 3 is nothing but it is cf by 2 why we are using this because the center number is if you remember by the analogy the center number is It is nothing but H delta T by rho CP delta T. And we have to calculate the value of H. So we can directly use this correlation, this analogy to find the value of H. And why we haven't used Reynolds analogy? Because Reynolds analogy is when predal number is 1. Right? So we can't use Reynolds analogy here because our value is 0.739. Right? So if we put the values, the H delta T delta T cancels. So it is H by rho CP into predal number the power 2 by 3 into cf by 2 and h comes to be cf by 2 into right so when we put the values the density is one point two zero four the velocity is seven the CP value is
you have a CP value which is 1.007 upon Prandtl number which is 0 0.7309 the power 2 by 3 so H comes to be it comes to be 12.7 watt per meter square degree and if you have to calculate here Q so you can easily calculate that Q as H A of delta T right so in our case the surface temperature is not given so we are unable to solve this as a Q right so if surface temperature is given to you by calculating this H you can easily calculate this Q the amount of heat transfer from this flat plate now moving towards the second numerical now the second numerical says that the engine oil at 60 degree flow over a flat plate means over a upper surface of 5 meter long flat plate those temperature is 20 degree centigrade with a velocity of 2 meter per second so determine the total drag and the rate of heat transfer per unit width of the entire plate so the question says that we have a plate right where the velocity is 2 meter per second and the temperature is 60 degree centigrade right and the surface temperature is 20 degree centigrade and the length of this tube this flat plate is 5 meter right again the assumptions are it has to be steady state conditions the incompressible fluids the Reynolds number critical is equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 5 as we know right so here the mean film temperature which is Ts plus T infinity by 2 which comes to be 20 plus 60 by 2 that is 40 degree centigrade right so the properties at 40 degree centigrade from tables right so the density is 876 kg per meter cube the Prandtl number is 2870 for the wires the conductivity is 0.144 watt per meter degree the value of kinematic viscosity is 242 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square per second now what should be the first step to solve this numerical we have to check whether 
द फ्लो इज लेमिनार और टर्बुलेंट सो वी हैव टू चेक दिस राइट अकॉर्डिंगली द कोरिलेशन विल बी यूज राइट सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द रेनॉल्स नंबर विच इज यू एल बाय म्यू विच इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड इंटू फाइव मीटर्स बाय इंटू टेन रेस टू पार माइनस सिक्स मीटर स्केयर पर सेकेंड which comes to be 4.13 into 10 raise to power 4 so renolds number come to be this which is less than that of the critical value hence we can say that the flow is laminar over the entire plate right so to calculate the drag force we need to calculate the cf which is 1.328 upon Reynolds number the half, right? So which is one point three two eight into four point one eight into ten raised to power four to power minus point five, which comes to be point zero two zero seven. right and the drag force will be now it is cf by 2 the area rho this right and we know the values it is 0.0207 into 8 76 the area is 5 into 1 the velocity is 2 m per second Upon two, and again the units will be one newton by one kg meter per second square, which comes to be one eighty one newtons. So the drag force will be one eighty one newtons. Right. Now the second part is. You have to calculate the value of h to get the q. So the Nusselt number applicable to this, which is h l by k, which is 0.664 into Reynolds number the power half into Predel number the power one by three. Why we have used this? Because the Predel number is much much greater than One, right? It is two eight seven zero, right? So it comes to be point six six four into four point one three into ten raised to power four the power half into two eight seven zero the power one by three. The Nusselt number comes to be. One nine one eight, so which is equal to h bar l by k. So h bar is point one four four by five into one nine one eight, which comes to be fifty five point two watt per meter square degree. 
right and this q will be of t infinity minus t s which comes to be 55.2 area is 5 into 1 the temperature difference is 60 minus 20 which comes to be 11040 watts right so this is the way to solve the numericals and if in this case if this value is greater than that of this critical value right which is from this value then this flow will be laminar followed by the turbulent flow so in that case there may be the question what at what value of this entire length right what value of this entire length from where the flow is being turbulent so we'll use that correlation for the turbulent to solve those kind of questions the third numerical is the local atmospheric pressure in denver Colorado, the elevation at 1610 meter is 83.4 kilopascal. The air at this pressure and 20 degree flow of velocity of 8 meter per second over a 1.5 meter into 6 meter flat plate. Those temperature is 140 degree centigrade. Determine Q along 6 meter length, B part along 1.5 meter length and we have to decide in the end, we have to conclude that what should be the flow direction, whether it should be along 6 meter long or whether it should be along 1.5 meter side, right? So the procedure is similar. The assumptions are same, so I'm not writing it in this question, right? So the mean film temperature is 140 plus 20 by 2 which comes to be 80 degree centigrade at one atom right so the value of k is 0 0.0295 watt per meter degree the prandtl number is 0.7154 The kinematic viscosity is 0.097 into 10 raised to power minus 5 meter square per this, this value is at 1 atom, right? And atmospheric pressure at Denver, which is 83.4 kilopascal into 101.325 kilopascal per atom which comes to be 0.823 atom right so the kinematic viscosity will be upon this so which is 0 0.097 into 10 raised to power 5 upon 0.823 which comes to be 2.548 into 10 raised to power minus 5 meter square per second right we have converted it to this pressure which is given to us now if we take a long 6 meter length right air if we take along 1.5 meter length right so two to two possibilities now the Reynolds number you will by mu will be 8 meter per second into 6 meters by 
it comes to be 1.884 into 10 raised to power 6 right so which is greater than that of the critical value hence it is combined laminar and turbulent flow right so the nasarak number is hl by k which is 0 0.037 into parental number we power 1 by 3. So let me show you the correlation again here. So it is if you remember we have discussed this correlation Right. So this is the correlation which we are using and we are using the combined effort so this is the correlation which we are using for the combined right which is this and it is valid for 0 0.6 to 60 and all number lies between 5 into 10 raised to power 5 to no, no, 10 raised to power 7 so our value lies between this and we are using this correlation to get the value of this Nassar number and when we put the values of Prendel number which we know right so we know the parental number which is this we know the Reynolds number which is this so when we put in this we get the result number is 2687 so the H is KL into Nassart number so which is point zero two nine five three by six meters right into Nassart number two six eight seven which comes to be thirteen point two watt per meter square degree as the area is W into L so which is 1.5 meter into 6 meters which is 9 meters square so the Q will be H A S of T S minus T infinity which is 13.2 into 9 into 140 minus 20 which comes to be 1.43 in 10 raised to power 4 watts right and if you take 1.5 meter length then the Reynolds numbers will be UL by this which is 8 into 1.5 upon 2.54 8 into 10 raised to power minus 5 which comes to be 4.71 into 10 raised to power 5 and which is less than that of so the flow is laminar right and we use the laminar correlation it is h l by k as an assault number which is 0 0.664 into 
0.5 into pedal number 1 by 3 so here the edge comes to be 8.03 watt per meter square degree and Q is which is H A of delta T which comes to be 8.03 into 9 meter square into the delta T will be 120 degree centigrade which comes to be 8670 watt so when we have the flow along 6 meters we have this much of Q and when we have 1.5 meter side flow we have this so we prefer this situation to flow over this means when we have this is a plate right and the second situation let's say this is 1.5 meter and this is 6 meter and this is the flow and in second situation we have This is 1.5 meter and this is 6 meters. So this is a flow. So by this the heat transfer rate is 1.43 into 10 is to power 4 and by this the heat transfer rate is 8670 watts. So you have to choose for what direction it has to be taken care of. So the flow must be on 6 meter along the 6 meter line length. Right to have the maximum heat transfer rate. Now in the next video we also do certain more numericals based upon other concepts of the forced convection. Thank you.